political forum G50 is five years old. It is an online pressure group. I created the forum out of a passion I have for Nigeria. I started with 50 people. From 50 people, we got to 1,000. And we normally celebrate milestone reach. By the time we go to 5,000, we celebrated 5,000, 10,000. And now we are approximately getting to 30,000 followers. This is the third edition of our talk show taking place at Sheraton Hotel, Ikeja, Lagos. The objective is to promote good governance in Nigeria and also to bridge the gap between the rich and the poor. The theme for this third outing is Blueprint for Sustainable Economic Development. High net worth individuals are here to present papers. Dr. Donald Duke, the former governor of Cross River State and a presidential aspirant in 2019, spoke on waking up the tiger. 70-80% of Nigerians depend on 20% for their survival. You can't grow a country like this. I'm advocating change because I don't want a violent change. If we don't have change through the ballot boxes, we would have a change that we may not <laughs> like. Like is a very mild word, right? Because it will be like internal combustion. I want to encourage the organizers, don't give up. It will take thousands and thousands of fora like this for the message to sink across so that we can get it right and maybe the next opportunity we have, whether it's a local government election or a national assembly or at the whatever levels, we try it. Even if it requires head hunting the best, even if the person has not aspired, but we say, look, I think you'll do a better job, go. We need to do that. Let's not take our country for granted. Prince Ben Ukadike believes that high moral standards will aid our pursuit of sustainable economic development. We are very impatient people. We're in a hurry. And that impatience leads us to do things that are not correct. You know, they say, wait and get your driver's license. You don't want it. You want to cut corners. You want, and when you want to cut corners, you are going to do something that is wrong. Let us all come to the same hospital. If uh, the people who are doing that, our leaders, you'll find that there will be different thinking. They will say, how do we improve this place? But it's not happening. We don't want to advocate a revolution. Our mumu don't do. By the time we are standing up for our rights, then our leaders will start thinking differently. Dr. Sunny Maduka spoke on effective budgeting system. We do not ask questions about the implementation of our budget. So we just keep on seeing budgets. And at the end of it, sometimes three months, six months, uh, nobody asks questions. So I think that is why it's critical for us to look at the budget of Nigeria and how if we don't implement that budget as it ought to be, how it will affect the overall um, uh, economic uh, sustainability of uh, this country. I have every right to demand for the budget of even my local government chairman. No investor will invest without first of all seeing the trend of where your budget is. So that means that budget is very fundamental. Political Forum G50 has a large following. This talk show takes place once a year. People should come and join us. All of us that you see here, we meet once in a year in this talk show. But majority of the time we meet online, where we vent our ideas, discussions, prefer solutions to topical issues. It is not a forum for mediocres. It's not a group that condone mediocrity, tribalism, dichotomy. It's not just a group of... Uh, Anybody can join. You must, be, you must have a proven career and profession and well-educated. Stakeholders are of the opinion that solutions to our problems lie within us. If you and I are disciplined, as the word discipline goes, discipline in our morals, discipline in our culture, discipline in management, discipline in what is expected of us, I think will be other things will now be you know naturally be following up, be finding its place. Do you understand? If we are all disciplined, we will be able to have the gods to face the government if they are doing wrong. Well, the letter starts from one point. Why are we even getting it wrong in the first place? We are getting it wrong in the first place because we don't have the will to do the right thing. 
this is not a gender biased forum. You want to see this nation get better. You want to see women being treated better. So I did not really know I'll get this far, but you know, so far so good. I want to encourage women to really come out and uh, put in their own efforts. Some women are doing that. Yes, you mentioned that women are not really among the facilitators, but we are getting there. I can assure you that by next year's show, you see a woman among the men this time around. I have it on good authority that the Minister of Transport, Mr. Rotimi Amechi, was here before the event started. He was invited as one of the speakers. Government knows that we are existing. They know we are existing. And from the look of things, they know the impact of G50. Some of the top political people we have in this country are members of this group, either by casual membership or dominant membership. So, but we discovered one thing, they always read our comments. And for many periods, we've discovered that some of these suggestions that we make, we see the implementation. G50 is making great impact. It has become a force to reckon with. The members believe that Nigeria will flourish again. We are being assured, I want to hold them by their words, that they are doing the right thing. So by next year, the picture will get clearer. And by next year, according to how the country goes, is how we are going to take up another um, team that we are going to use for that of next year. I believe things will get better. I, I want to give them benefit of the doubt. Nigeria is among the fourth largest producer of crude oil. Among all the OPEC countries, Nigeria is the only country that imports her refined product abroad. My vision is for us to stop importation of refined fuel into this country.